Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and all you other folks. Welcome to the 31st edition of Live from the Parlor. Again, it is now fall, so I can wear some appropriate duds. So I have on this tuxedo tonight, actually a little bit of a, a tip of the hat to my hometown, Dallas. This is a, uh, let's see, there it is, this is a Masterbuilt Tailoring Company tuxedo, custom tailored clothes, Dallas, Texas. How about that? That's neat. Uh, a little shout out to Jason Cohen, who had this for sale at uh, Curiosities. It's a great vintage shop there. So those of you who are in Dallas or anywhere in the neck of that neck of the woods, be sure you stop into Curiosities. It's a swell little shop. So um, just uh, one moment here to uh, do the you know what with the slowest computer in the world. I shouldn't say that. At least it works. So um, then there we go. There's that. So uh, all these technical difficulties, or not technical difficulties, but you know these little things that we have to do when we're on a, a skeleton crew the way we are. So here we go. Pin the comments. So let's trade out this computer for an accordion. There's something you know. Hey, Harlow, guess what I have for you tonight? I have that tune that you asked for last week. Sun shower. Worked it up. Now all I have to do is remember it. <laughs> So, uh, how is everybody doing out there? I think Harlow went, oh, and we do have some megaphone crooning that will go on tonight. So, all I need is a little bit bigger parlor. All right, here we go. And a ukulele. So, uh, Patty, if you're watching, I'm going to have some ukulele tonight. Man, it's going to be good. It's going to be a good time. Well, uh, needless to say, start a watch party. That's what all the kids are doing these days. Start a watch party so that uh, everybody I'm not connected to, but you're connected to, uh, can tune in and join in the fun and frivolity and silliness. Silvolity. Silliness and frivolity. So uh, if anybody's got a birthday out there, make yourselves known. My wonderful uh, wife, Danielle, she celebrates a birthday later this month yeah. on the 22nd. That's right. So it'll be a birthday edition of Live from the Parlor. Exactly. Like All right. Which, uh, one more little uh, PSA before we get rolling. Uh, tonight is the beginning of every other week. Every other week. As you know, if you've been to my calendar, you'll see the gigs are indeed coming back. So uh, I can only shout alms for the poor uh, so much before somebody goes, wait a minute. So, <laughs> and puts two and two together. So that being said, we're going to go every other week. So uh, I will not see you next week, but please join me on the 22nd. Again, uh, you can celebrate and join in the, yeah. the birthday celebration. I am willing so, to sacrifice my birthday date night for you guys. So no complaints about the every other week. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. This is true. <laughs> well, let's get rolling. Here is a request from my buddy Patrick up there in the great northeast. Here's a tune called Angry. <laughs> Thank you. 
It's a tune written in 1923 about by uh, Merrick Brunies down in New Orleans. So there we go. There we go. Well, we have a little bit of a jolly crowd here. I confess I did not make an event page to share it. There's just a lot going on, a lot going on. Working on an album, actually. I know what you're thinking. I just released the Slingers album. So what the heck am I doing recording a new album? Well, a uh, long story longer, uh, my good friend Steve Harris runs Music Publishers of America. That's the continuation, uh, the 2.0, if you will, of the old Betok Elsnick Publishing Company out of Chicago. And uh, back in the day, they were uh, ethnic music's answer to uh, Robin and Irving Berlin publishing houses. Betok Elsnick published all the polkas and waltzes and shottishes and marches and things like that from the, uh, the early 1910s through about the 1950s and uh, maybe about 1960, and then things, uh, you know, things change, as we know, and they kind of went by the wayside. But they're back in Adam again, and so uh, one of the things Steve is doing is he is publishing, uh, or republishing, rather, old accordion band arrangements. Now, what that means is first accordion, second accordion, third accordion, fourth accordion. And in the old days, accordion bands were very popular. They're still present in Europe, but not so much in America these days. So, the best way he figures to jumpstart the sale of music is to have a companion CD. So, uh, how about that? So, I'm working on that, and uh, it's moving right along, so I'm really, really excited about that. And I'll see if maybe I have Steve's permission to post a teaser or something like that. Especially when one is uh, under the double eagle, which is a favorite of, of Patty. Speaking of, we'll get that ukulele going a little bit later on. But, uh, let's move along here. Speaking of polkas, why not? Because everybody plays polka when they're wearing tuxedos, right? This is one written by Dick Richard Metko called Dick's Polka. <laughs> Joey, yeah, I want a bass sax too. And uh, Mary Ellen, good to see you with your Shiner Oktoberfest. I'm drinking uh, scotch, actually, tonight. I'm, uh, you know, this time of year, normally, my, as an accordion player, my diet is uh, sausage and beer. So, uh, not as many Oktoberfests as usual, but I'm um, still uh, staying true to that diet. So, uh, taking a beer break with a little bit of uh, Johnny Walker here tonight. A little uh, Johnny Walker Red. Johnny Walker Red. Hey, June, it's good to see you. Howdy. Prost, everybody. Cheers. Mmm. Does a body good. Well, um, let's see here. Well, since June is here, uh, I, I want to do a tango. I want to do a tango for you. You asked for a tango last time, and I played one, but I'll play a different one for you here. Uh, speaking of the Oktoberfest thing, this is actually one that we borrowed from uh, the Germans, and they actually borrowed it from the Czechs, 
uh, it all comes out in the wash. And it was popular in Germany, it was also popular in England, uh, Henry Hall recorded it, and it was also popular right here in the States. Uh, there's a stock arrangement and everything made of it. Um, so here it is, a nice one for you here. This is called Play to Me Gypsy. <laughs> indeed a tango borrowed from the Germans, borrowed from the Czechs, borrowed from the British. So there we go, that's called Play to be Gypsy, or its German title is Du Schwarze Zigeuner. So uh, a wonderful little tango there for our tango heads. There you go, enjoy. Hmm. Miss Amy Bishop is here, are you wearing your dirndl tonight? I sure hope so, because we got a waltz here. I'm seeing a, uh, I see a request from my pop, so I have to honor that one. And there's Mark Aylwine. Hey, good to see you at the Arboretum. What are you doing at the Arboretum? You playing over there? You playing over there at the Arboretum? Or are you just uh, smelling the, taking time to smell the flowers, and many flowers? So uh, while you're answering that, Mark, I'll uh, play my dad's request here. This is a Slavko Obzenik tune, so we're going to move from uh, Czech, Germans, London, British. We're going to move to uh, we're going to move to uh, what? Oh yeah, Austria. This is one called By the Lake. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I played it an odd mini chord in there. That's not the music. by the lake request from my dad and hey I'll send that out to you Mr. Mark Aylwine since you're at the Arboretum you are by the lake you are by White Rock Lake so perfect that's for you that's for you <laughs> they're upset they can't yodel why well, can't yodel either not that anybody would want to hear that I yodel like on on very under duress there's only like a handful of tunes I actually yodel on and I don't have those tunes here so you're lucky you're lucky I'm sure that Durandal will still fit. I'm sure it'll all fit. They have magic powers. They're like Lederhosen. They always fit. So, uh, just remember when you go to Oktoberfest, folks, uh, make sure you split your uh, Black Forest cake and your, and your bratwurst and everything and your beer because there's no calories when you split the food. The generosity trumps the calories. That's, that's true. That's true. I heard it from uh, my doctor, Dr. Vinnie Boombots. Hey, you know my doctor? Hey, what, what a joke of that guy. He and him and my dentist. I told him my dentist, hey, how can I whiten my teeth? He said, wear a brown necktie. Hey, oh, anyway, sorry, that's, a, that's another show. That's for the after 10 show. Um, anyway, here, oh, um, if Cat's still out there, um, you asked for this tune. It was only a sun shower, which is a pop tune. California Ramblers recorded it. I can't remember. Well, I, I tried to look up the music. I, I don't have it. I don't have it. So in lieu of tips, send me a copy of the sheet music to uh, It Was Only a Sun Shower. But as memory serves, it goes something like this. <laughs>
like that. There we go. It was only a sun shower. Like I said last week, that's a tune I used to play years ago, and it kind of just uh, got out of the rotation. But we'll get it back in, and we'll get it with the words for you next time. Hey, Linton, good morning to you. As the world turns, you drink your morning coffee, I have my evening scotch. And you requested Play To Be Gypsy. Funny enough, I played that about two songs ago. Um, but let's see. There's plenty more where that came from. There's plenty more where that came from. Uh, especially those, uh, those old good uh, European tangos. Let's see here. Uh, I was listening to some Alan Bowley earlier, too, actually. I, I always listen to Al Bowley. I don't know why today is any different than any other. But uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Um, oh, there's it. You hear this? You hear that stupid horn? You hear that stupid alarm? That's been going off all day long. You know how hard it is to record when there's a stupid horn like that? Uh. Oh, and he's in B, too. He's in B. Can't you at least be in C? We're playing music in C. We're not playing anything in B. Ugh. Barf. Um, the only song I play in B is In the Jailhouse Now. So, anyway, if that starts up, we'll do some classic country. But in the meantime, um, what is that? Um, play to me, Gypsy. And it was a, uh, a, a kind of a companion piece I used to play. It'll come to me. It'll come to me. But um, in the meantime, let's keep the show going. Let's keep the show going. Is, uh, are Joe and Patty, are you guys here? If you are, I'll bust that ukulele out. If not, I'll, I'll wait because I don't want to. I've already played a tune that Linton wanted to hear before he was here. Last thing I need to do is play one for you while you're missing it. But um, here's a good old good one. Like I said, listen to some Bowley. <laughs> Shearer
Fisher up next, but uh, first a little accordion break. Yay! <laughs> anyway, and Joe, I also I have the megaphone here. I have the megaphone. You ever seen that picture of Al Boley? But they used to sell a Al Boley like a, a, a fold-up megaphone. I guess in case of emergencies, um, you can keep it in your glove box of your of your uh, Essex. But anyway, um, I brought the megaphone, Joe. So uh, check check one two. I hope it, hope the mic works. Did I always forget to change the battery on that thing? Uh, here we go. Now, uh, speaking of Ian Whitcomb, we all know Ian Whitcomb played, uh, well, a number of things. He played accordion. He also played piano, sang like the Dickens. He also played uh, ukulele pretty well. And he was a big fan of one uh, George Formby, who uh, did that that crazy strum pattern. Uh, I can't do that. But you didn't you didn't come here for that. So you came here for the accordion and the vocals and see what the heck I'm going to have on tonight. And uh, which for those of you that missed the introductions, got this from uh, Curiosities, Jason Cohen, built in or uh, tailored in Dallas, the Master Built Tailoring Incorporated, hey, company and incorporated. They weren't messing around. Custom tailor clothes, Dallas, Texas. So, got my Dallas tuxedo on here. So, uh, speaking of uh, Joe and Patty, here's one that you guys like, little George for me. Ouch, ouch, ouch. The weather is changing, you know. Don't tune, you need a bigger sound. Now I go cleaning windows to earn an honest bob. For an OZ Parker, it's an interesting job. Now it's a job that suits me. A window cleaner you would be if you could see what I could see. When I'm cleaning windows, honeymoon and couples too. You should see them fill and coo. You'd be surprised at the things they do. When I'm cleaning windows, in my profession I'll work hard, but I'll never stop. I'll find this blinking loud until I reach the very top. Right, he is doing fine. Rather have her job than mine. Yes, sir, that's all right. When I'm cleaning windows, chambermaid, sweet names I call. It's a wonder I don't fall. My mind's not on me work at all. When I'm cleaning windows, I know a fella such a swell. He has a thirst that's plain to tell. I've seen him drink his bath as well. When I'm cleaning windows, in my profession I'll work hard, but I'll never stop. I'll climb this blinking ladder till I reach the very top. Pajamas lying side by side, ladies, nighties, I have spied. I've often seen what goes inside when I'm cleaning windows. Dance break! Now there's a famous talkie queen. She looks like a flapper on the screen. She's more like 80 than 18 when I'm cleaning windows. She pulls her hair down all behind and pulls down her, never mind. After that, she pulls down the blind. When I'm cleaning windows in my profession, I'll work hard, but I'll never stop. I'll climb this blinking ladder till I reach the very top. An old maid walks around the floor. She's so fed up one day, I am sure she'll drag me in and lock the door. When I'm cleaning windows, when I'm cleaning windows. All right, ooh, ooh. There it is. All right. A little ukulele. I haven't played this thing in forever, but uh, there it is. There it is. And uh, when I'm cleaning windows, little George Formby tune. Unfortunately, Janice, no way to increase the volume. You would laugh, as Irving Berlin would have written. You'd be surprised if you would see this this uh, oh so wonderful setup I have here. It consists of an iPhone, an igloo uh, ice pack to keep the phone cool, a block of wood. A piece of aluminum that's a heat sink and a beat up Manhasset music stand. So, nothing's too good for my audience, right? <laughs> so, there you go. There you are. Somebody said something in Spanish. I, I don't speak much Spanish. Took two years of French one. But uh, let's go back. Well, let's go back and see what they said. Hopefully, it's good. The suspense. The suspense. Has no world. Well, it. 
Palm Palmyrus has no world wide. Oh, I don't I don't know what that means, unfortunately. I don't know what that means. So uh, hopefully hopefully whatever Palmyrus is, it's it's a good thing. Let's see here. Um all right, well that's enough of that for now. That's enough of that. At least until I tune the darn thing. Let's get back to the accordion. Let's get back to the accordion. Um speaking of uh things, uh Spanish things. Awesome, Lionel Velasco. That's a tune I also haven't played in a while time, but I saw that Spanish comment, something like palm, palm, and palm, anyhow. Um, you, you see it. You see the comments as well as I do. Uh, but here's one called Los Palmas de Maracaibo, or the Palms of Maracaibo. <laughs> something about uh, palms, something or other, worldwide. Anyway, so there, La Palmas de Maracaibo, a little uh, Lionel Velasco tune, more or less. <laughs> Bella, 
bella, bella Maria, vergis mi ni. Bella, bella, bella Maria, lei mi troia con sole in fuori. Bella, bella, bella Maria, vergis mi ni. By request, that is a uh, beautiful German tune, kind of a rumba sort of thing, uh, all about the Italian fishermen down in the uh, Sea of Capri. There's a wonderful tune called Isle of Capri. Uh, one of our fellow band leaders calls it Pile of Debris, and I love it. I love it. Mm. Well, uh, no, piles, no piles of debris here tonight, although I, I should play that tune sometime. Um, I'm holding out, Joe. I know Susie uh, had a few that she wanted last week. So I'm holding out until she gets here, if she gets here, to play a couple of Gene Austins for her. Mm. Also, Joe, you may notice I'm drinking a scotch, but I'm also balancing out with water, because you have to keep the voice happy. I uh, got my Paul Whiteman glass. Got my Paul Whiteman glass. So cheers to the big man. Ah, well, of course, it is October. It is Libra season, but it's also the month of Halloween. That's right. <laughs> So let's do kind of a, a spooky tune. It was a hit of the week for Mr. Duke Ellington uh, on the old hit of the week cardboard records. Speaking of records, actually, too, at 10 o'clock Eastern Time, you should all go on to uh, www.wmkvfm.org. Uh, wmkvfm.org. That's the Maple Knoll Radio Network here in Cincinnati, Ohio. George Bush, my, my dear friend Joe, uh, his show called that he has every month, Friction, where he plays 20s, 30s original recordings as well as the occasional new recording um, by, well, he's even played me. did a whole show about me. Thanks a lot, Joe. I'm, I'm, I'm verklempt. So um, this is a, 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 a wonderful show. You don't want to miss it. Tune in tonight. You can stream it online, wmkvfm.org. And he did a, a show about the Cardboard Dance Hall, which was uh, those wonderful hit of the week records. So uh, this is one that Duke Ellington did. Uh, that was ahead of the week. And it was a Frank Skinner arrangement. I'm not going to play the arranger, I'm going to play the tune. It's Sing You Sinners. <laughs> Thank you. 
sticks. He don't allow music by that river sticks. You're wicked and you're depraved, and you all misbehave. the lyrics but what can you do as my friend Dave here would say you want a perfect show go to a movie uh, looking at your request Amy I think it's G minor uh. Accepted. Challenge accepted. And like I said, tonight, starting tonight, I'm going to do every other week. So that gives me plenty of time to try and work it up. And if I, if all else fails, just... that up. And you're right, it's very good on accordion. Played by somebody else, of course. Well, here's a tune I do know. What a transition. Someday, when I'm off below, when the world is cold, I will feel the glow just thinking of you. And the way you look tonight Yes, you're lovely With your smile so warm And your cheeks so soft There is nothing for me but to love you And the way you look With each word, your tenderness grows, tearing my fears apart. And that battering goes your nose, touches my foolish heart. Lovely, never, never change. Keep that breathless charm Won't you please arrange it Cause I love you And the way you look
like, oh, hey, it's Leon Zelligson, once KGB, always KGB. And here is Linda Proach. Good to see you, Miss Linda. Ah, miss you guys. Miss all 17 of you guys and gals down there in the orchestra. And uh, I hope it's, hope it's mutual. Hope it's mutual. Anyway, hey, we might still have a New Year's thing. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I will let you know. I will let you know. It won't be the same, but we might still have a New Year's thing, Linda. So don't touch that dial. Don't, don't put your sequins away yet. Don't put them away yet. And that's for, it goes for all you folks, too. Might have a New Year's gig. Keep watching the skis. So, um, oh, just another polka. A request for that. Sure. Hmm. Scotch, 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 Oh, yeah. Yeah, Toccata and Fugue in D minor. Um, but this is not Toccata and Fugue in D minor. This is uh, just another polka. Let's see if I can... That's it. You always have to make sure these keys don't go too high. Um. Just another polka, but just another polka. But oh, what a girl in my arms. Am I in heaven since we met? Is it the Philharmonic playing Romeo and Juliet? No, just another polka, just another polka. But oh, how the music has charmed. This is just another polka, but holy smoke, oh, what a girl in my arms. I'm dead. I should check this key. If, hey, if James, Bo if James, not James Bond, if James Brown could start a tune over, I could start it over. It's just another polka, just another polka, but oh, what a girl in my arms. Yes, Amy, am I in heaven since we met? Is it the Philharmonic playing Romeo and Juliet? No, just another polka, just another polka, but oh, Sounding better from the moment that I met her Cause I'm dancing with an angel With an angel, an angel, an angel I could never, never have it so good and push the buttons. But yes, to answer your question, Amy, yes, New Year's Eve in Dallas. New Year's Eve in Dallas. I might be headed your way. We shall see. Um, so like I said, keep watching. Keep watching the social media, and I'll see, I'll see what I can Instagram, Facebook, and I'll see what I can, I can uh, uh, get going for you guys and gals. Use guys, as I like to say in Cincinnati. Well, um, let's do a tune here. I pulled up this tune. Uh, uh, Sandy, this is one of your uh, tunes you don't like. So again, the uh, or, I'm sorry, tune that you do like. For all I know, you don't like it, and you just say you like it. But no, seriously, uh, this is the tune you like. It says it's 1926. I pulled it out of the Tune Decks, the wonderful Magic Tune Decks, and unfortunately, they do not make anymore. Um, so uh, yeah, this is a good old good one. Mills Brothers recorded this one. Lots of guys did, but uh, I'm gonna play it like it was back then, with a little peppier step. It's uh, well, you'll know it. No spoiler alerts here. Hey Tony, good to see you too. Live from Seattle. You're in. You're living in the past. It's it's early there. I'm I'm. It's almost nine o'clock here in the future. In the future. Here we go. Here's that tune. <laughs> Thank you. 
alone when I'm all alone with you. You are the kind I try hard to find. You make all my dreams come true. In the crowd, I feel mighty proud. But if you're not there, I'm lonesome. I don't mind being all alone when I'm all alone with you. Gaskill and Irving and Jimmy McHugh. Jimmy McHugh. Well, that certainly explains why it's a good tune. Ah, I love me some Jimmy McHugh. Hard to go wrong. Hey, looks like Susie's in the house. So we're going to move from uh, the Mills Brothers to a little Gene Autry. How about that? Now Gene Autry. <laughs> Big difference there. <laughs> those baby ways. You're as bashful every time when I'm with you. And though you're fond of me, you say, still you keep me far away. Why can't we love just like other sweethearts do? What do we got lips for? What do we got eyes for? Why do we have stars above? Oh, you know, I know everything's what do we got eyes for? What do we sigh for? Why do we say dummy dove? Oh, you know I know everything's made for love. What is the dark for? What is the park for? Why are the shady lanes? Why is the garden cozy so corn every time it rains? What I got you for? What do you got me for? What are we both thinking of? Oh, you I know everything's made for love. Dance break. Corner so rosy. 
That's hard to spit out, you know that? That's hard to spit out. Why is a cozy corner so rosy? I was like, W.C. Fields, a cozy corner. Anyway, um, hey, it's uh, it's some new folks. It's new. I think I spy with my little eye a cat crone. There she is. Hey, hey, there she is. That's right, every other week, every other week. But, you know, the good news is it means the gigs are coming back for me, you know. So, I, like I said, I can only stand with my hat in my hand for... For so long, until so people start to say, hey, I saw your calendar. I saw your calendar. You don't, you don't need me. Anyway, but, you know, even after everything picks up and we're uh, plumb in the middle of 2021 and hopefully everything gets returned back to normal, I will still do these shows once a month. Once a month. So just to keep in touch with everybody because it's a great way to, uh, a great way to um, you know, kind of just keep tabs on everybody, see what's happening. See my friends, see that everybody is still on the book of faces and all that wonderful stuff. So, uh, yeah. But yeah, every other week starting tonight. So no broadcast next week, but there will be a broadcast on the 22nd in honor of two wonderful birthdays, Miss Danielle and the late, great Jerome Curly Howard Horowitz. That's right. She shares a birthday with Curly. People say, wow, you share a birthday with Fred Astaire. And I'm like, oh, it's nothing. You should see my wife. She shares a birthday with Curly Howard. Can you beat it? Yeah, glad work is picking up, too. That's right. So, um... <laughs> One of those tunes that uh, no one else really recorded, you know, they're just the nudie tunes. The nudie tunes, what can I say? Hey, there you are. You're, you're most welcome. You're most welcome. I love that tune. Thanks for uh, getting me, or not, I shouldn't say introducing me to it, but jogging my memory about it. It's beauty. Yeah, that's called mystery. And welcome to the second hour, everybody. Welcome to the second hour. We're going to kick things off here with an Irving Berlin. There we go. <laughs> a 
gambler's lucky streak When we're out together dancing cheek to cheek Oh, I love to climb a mountain and to reach the highest peak But I don't enjoy it half as much as dancing cheek to cheek Oh, I love to go out fishing in a river or a creek But I don't enjoy it half as much as dancing cheek to cheek Now dance with me, I want my arm about you The charm about you will carry me through to heaven I'm in heaven and my heart beats so that I can hardly speak and I seem to find the happiness I see when we're out together dancing cheek to Roger, you're too kind. Too kind, too kind. Mr. Fred Astaire, I do share a birthday with him. The day and the month, not the year, though. Not the year. You know why Fred Astaire couldn't dance on the second floor? Because it's... All right. Damn you, Scotch. Damn it. I shouldn't tell other people's jokes anyway. That joke is supposed to say, and Danielle says she can't tell a joke. No, the joke is supposed to say, do you know why Ginger Rogers couldn't dance on the second floor? Because her partner was Fred Astaire. Ah, anyway, we need to get Danielle on here to tell some more jokes sometime. She has some good ones. She has some good ones. Anyway, let's see here. Let's, uh, let's move along here. Actually, somebody requested Cheek of Araby the last time. Dang it, I can't believe I screwed that joke up. Oh, man. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. It's a good joke, and I messed it up. Why couldn't Mozart find his teacher? Because he was hiding. Okay, we're back. <laughs> Your room is 
plan with me. Cause I'm the shake, the shook, the chic of every bee. That's probably the, the verse police. So I had to play the verse of uh, Sheik of Araby to appease them. To appease them. At least that car quit honking. Maybe they finally ran out of battery. Serves them right. Serves them right. Well, um, anyway, uh, like I said, it is um, the month of October. That means it's Halloween. Halloween month this year. So um, I'd like to do a, a, a Halloween tune. It goes back to... Uh, the end. early, early uh, 1900s, 1903, I think, uh, it was introduced in a, a, a show called Three Twins, Three Twins, and uh, it was a, a recorded uh, by, um, uh, what was her name, uh, she did a lot with Billy Murray in the old days, um, uh, oh, it'll come to me, gosh, messing up jokes, not remembering names, it's a good thing this show's only going in two weeks, you know, uh, Ada Jones, Ada Jones, Ada Jones. So here is the Yama Yama Man. I just have to remember what key that thing's in. Somebody actually requested a shotish, and this counts as a shotish, so. Uh, mm -hmm. B flat minor, well. There we go. Every little tot at night is afraid of the dark, you know. Cause some. Yama man is there when it's off to bed they go. Big, mean, scary eyes you'll see, so you'll cover up your head. Cause that big Yama man is there standing right beside your bed. Yama, Yama, Yama man, terrible lies and a long bony hand. If you don't watch out, he'll catch you without a doubt. If Behind that chair, ready to catch you unaware. So run to your mama, here comes the yama, the yama, the yama man. stock arrangement for Yama Yama Man it shares uh, the paper because they're both printed on that old octavo, you know, the, the little bitty thing so they can fit two on a, on a sheet of paper. So it's uh, uh, Yama Yama Man and cut up, uh, Cuddle Up a Little Closer. Sweetie Mine or Sweetheart Mine, Lovey Mine, something like that. Honey Dom, Honey Doll, Honey Baby, Honey Dom, Honey Doll, Honey Bob. Yes. 
you always hurt the one you love. Honey doll, honey lamb, honey baby, honey doll, honey pie is because he love you the most of all. <laughs> Too, the clown prince of traditional jazz, yes. Mariuch, sure. Hey, Deborah. And uh, yeah, the spelling M A R I U T C H. Mariuch, escort by name. <laughs> You 
reach down to Colney Isle, Mariuch, by request. If I had a nickel for every time I played that, well, I wouldn't have any money, but <laughs> you know what I mean. Mariuch, down at Colney Isle, sung that one literally coast to coast, and Canada, too. They did not see it coming. They didn't see that one coming. But who does? Who does? Well, Joe, here's the megaphone. I told you I'd uh, get the megaphone up here tonight on a couple of tunes. So uh, let's say we do our favorite. Let's say we do our favorite. I better, uh, I can reach that. That's fine. <laughs> that one Joe from your hit of the week that's because that is the Frank Skinner arrangement the stock the whole thing I love it I love it there we go sweethearts and megaphone doesn't get much better than that you're right Patty hey I'll send you a, a little teaser of that under the double eagle recording I've been working on since that's one of your favorites and uh, why don't I play it right now what the hey <laughs> Thank you. 
Eagle by none other than Wagner. That's right. Probably the shortest tune Wagner ever wrote. <laughs> there we go, Mr. Ring Cycle. Mmm. Ah, oh, shucks, Patty. Thank you. Thank you. I do love that tune. I do love that tune. It's a, one of my favorite marches. One of the best marches anywhere in the world. You got your Stars and Stripes, you got Zacatecas, you got Under the Hubble Eagle. Just great marches from around the world. So, uh, yeah, what more can I say? Um, okay, here's a request. Um, it was a Depression Era tune. Uh, You're the one I care for. Uh, Bell Baker recorded it. Um, and uh, so did uh, Burt Lown, I believe, with uh, Rollini. And uh, it's just a great tune. So let's see here. I think it's. <laughs> Because you can't see it, but you can hear it. And uh, I figured I'd wear the tuxedo because one, it's uh, it's getting cool enough out that I can get away with it. But also, I was out at a junkyard, salvage yard today, digging through cars. One of my like pigs in you know what. I love, love, love doing that. And let me tell you, this is a unpaid endorsement for uh, Jack's Route uh, 52 Auto out on Kellogg. If you Tom Pacina or anybody else, if you've got a, an 80s or a 90s GM car, go there. Come to Cincinnati, it'll make it worth your while. And uh, man, I love that place. I love that place. Well, I, did, today was the day, Danielle, we went two days in a row. Went yesterday and went today. I almost went back today. Um, 
It's great. I love I love that kind of stuff because I love I love working on cars. You know, that's that's the stuff I don't post too much. But you know, usually you see me in suits and tuxedos and things. But uh, now nah, there's a side of me that loves that stuff too. So um, hey, with four with four uh, 25, 28 year old cars, I have to like that stuff, right? You got to know what I'm getting into. So there we go. That's kind of also why I have the tux on is I wanted to go from point A to point B. So there we go. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, speaking of uh, summer being over, this is a tune I ought to know. Let's see if I do. I, only, I recorded it. this one with me. and grow and withers and goes dear when summer is gone or birds of the spring that joyously sing then take to the wing dear when summer is gone I can't believe that we've just been dreaming that all of our scheming must end with the dawn so tell me again, love is not in vain, that it will remain here when summer is gone. Hey everyone, we got a Singapore slinger in the house, Phil West, he's one of the trumpet players, one of the original members. rehearsals at a, a rec center of all things and uh, people have come and gone but Phil was one of those first guys there and uh, you'll also find him on the new album on the new album killing it absolutely killing it 
on uh, Keeping Out of Mischief Now. That's Phil on there. And some other great moments. That's just the one that I immediately think of. So, uh, yeah, there he is. Phil West, there he is. In, it, it's sort of in the flesh, but, you know, I, on Facebook Live, that's, that's about second best. So, uh, yeah. Hey, Phil, good to see you. Good to see you. Hopefully, uh, I'm, I was talking about it earlier, I hope that we'll have a New Year's thing. So uh, in in Dallas, so stay tuned, stay tuned. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So uh, anyway, uh, yeah, much love to Phil. It's good to see you on here. And George, whenever he pops on from time to time, and we had Linda and Erwin sometimes pops on too. So there we go. There we are. Uh, let's see here. Uh, moving along with the uh, the Halloween stuff. Let's see here. <laughs> some pretty strange characters walking around in 1930, as Don Neely would say. So there we go. Trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat for Halloween. Trick or treat, trick or treat, trick or treat for Halloween. Speaking of Halloween, let's keep this thing going one more. Here's another Al Boley tune that's and on the heels of Halloween, that's all I have to say. <laughs> Thank you. 
my whole life through. I'll be remembering you, whatever else I do. Midnight with the stars and you. you Barbara about some of the wonderful uh, tunes uh, Joe's always talking about you know your great albums and just wonderful tunes that you pick you know just the songs that you choose for your albums and they are great fun so it's great to have you in the house here if there's anything you want to hear your request is my command let me know in the meantime let me think about a, a one that's on one of your albums that would translate well uh, let's see here um, You've got so many good ones. Let's see.
counting sheep Through my window he comes to peep And with each other we're sympathizing Looking at the happy sweethearts While they sit around and spoon There's two lots of people in the whole wide world Me and the man in the moon There we go that's a good one, Me and the Man in the Moon. I do believe Miss Barbara Rosine recorded that, but I could be wrong. Ah, uh, see here. job of it. Oh, shucks. Oh, shucks. Thank you. That is a great tune. That is a great tune. I should know who wrote it. I feel like it's one of those Leo Robin type of things, you know, um, or an Al Dubin type of number. Feels like one of those guys. 
the uh, fact checkers will let me know. Anyway, let's <laughs> let's move along. Let's move along here. Ah, hmm. Your birthday's coming up on Saturday, Dennis. Huh. How about that? How about them apples? Well, I might have to just like uh, send you a little message or something like that. Say happy birthday. Or, or do a happy birthday tune or something. Another trip around the sun for Mr. Dennis here. Congra happy birthday in advance. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mr. Yeager. Or however you say it. Happy birthday to you. There we go. Happy birthday in advance. There we go. There we are. Oh, there's a lot of chord changes next to him, but I'm willing to take my life in my own hands. Let's give her a go. <laughs> Name Lorraine. Not that I, you know, need to. Obviously, I don't need, you know, a Lorraine in my life. But the Hell only no, person, don't. the only person <laughs> I've known in my life named Lorraine was like a great aunt of mine, and it just it, it doesn't sit. So I, I need at least to, to like someone that like runs a bar or like. 
has a gas station or like somebody somebody I could see at least but okay because I've had to I've had to update a few names I'm very <laughs> I'm very grateful for Adam Sandergret and Joseph Rubin <laughs> because I have to really rotten Adams and Josephs. We have man, some real, real jerks. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind of along those lines. Oh, I, I need, man. I just need to update it. Is all. <laughs> so there we go. <laughs> Say no more on that. <laughs> Say no more, and I will not. Ooh. Say no more, please. <laughs> well, um. A reminder, Joe Bosom's wonderful show, Friction, is Yay. coming up at 10. So I'm about to, uh, I'm about to go uh, listen to it myself. But soon as I have time for one more. Amy points out, Lorraine seems like a good name for a car. Or a dog. Or a dog. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no offense to you, Dad. Yeah. No offense. <laughs> well, no, dogs are great. <laughs> dogs are great. Yeah. Chill out. Lorraine, well, let's see the cars. We have a Carol, we have a Tilly, a Bonnie. Those and a Warren, named after Warren William. Yeah, that's Those right. Those are our cars. We did have a Marcus. We did have a Marcus. Yeah. <laughs> we did have a Marcus <laughs> station wagon that I had. But yeah. Um, no, that was the van. The, oh, yeah, it was a van. Yeah. Your crappy wagon never had a name. That's true, yeah. The white wagon, yeah. The little <laughs> wagon that couldn't. The Ford. That's right, the Ford. <laughs> now we're a Chevy family. Now, now we're a GM family. Yes. That's right. <laughs> There's Matthias. Hey, you're tuning in just time for the last tune. Let's uh, let's make it a, a good one. Let's make it a good one. Ah, uh, something snappy. Something snappy, she. Maisie's middle name is Lorraine. All right. There nice. We go. Perfect. perfect. That's perfect. Thank you for that. Awesome. That's a that's a much better, much better. Let's see. Oh, here's a good one to end with. This is a. Uh, I said I'd play something snappy, but you know we'll take the hotel band approach. In the old days, you know, when the hotel bands would play, they would do all the hot stuff and all that all night long, but they did it on a sweet tune. They did it on a sweet tune. That was so that, uh, really, it was so all the couples could put their heads on each other and dance, and they would say, didn't we have such a lovely time, darling? Let's come back tomorrow night. Yeah. And that's how they, they kept dance bands working. So, hey, Phil West says, Dan, uh, hi. He says, hello. What's up, Phil's Phil? watching, yeah. Hey. One of our original members. That's why. Good to, quote, see you. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Hope you're doing well. And Dennis notices the Atwater Kent up here. Of course he and, does. Uh, <laughs> if, you, if you tune in, Dennis, to last week's show, if you look it up, you'll see uh, we do have the speaker for it. We do have the speaker for it there. So uh, it's it is complete and it still works. It still works. Uh, all we need is an antenna. Yeah. It's a little and, scary uh, to plug in, but you know. <laughs> yeah, it does work. It works. It'll make them like they used to. So um, again, you know, foregoing a snappy tune, mm -hmm. I'm gonna play a sweet tune for you here. And uh, sweet for a number of reasons, because it's the last tune, well, about the second to last tune, uh, Bix ever recorded. So here we go. The Great Bix Beyerbeck. <laughs>
if you contend, this is the end. I'll be a friend with pleasure. No broadcast next week, but I'll see you week after on the 22nd. Yes, for Miss Danielle's birthday. Hey, <laughs> good night, folks. Good night and good luck.